Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, and welcome for a very special edition of Z Real Estate's discussion on real estate. Today I'm actually reporting to you from Pattaya, Thailand, the beautiful land of smiles, as they call it. Now, we got a lot to discuss this week, but before I jump right into it, I'd like to take a quick moment to reflect on where we were in 2013 and 2014. Why? Well, because if we have a pretty good idea of where we came from, our picture of where we're going is that much more clear. That being said, what happened last year? Well, real estate prices in San Dimas rose about 11.8%. That's excellent. That's phenomenal. Why is it so good? Well, because it's sustainable. That's the beauty of it. In 2002, 2003, when values were just skyrocketing beyond belief, 20%, 30%, everybody thought it would last forever. Well, folks, we know what happened to that, don't we? So the problem with outrageous appreciation figures is that it's just frankly not sustainable. And when you start talking about 30, 40% appreciation on a, on a calendar year, you're approaching another housing bubble. Fortunately, we're not there. Now, because of recent REO inventory increases, I do expect the rate of appreciation to decrease. Now, let me qualify that statement. I do not expect appreciation in the next year. I expect the rate of appreciation to drop a little bit. In other words, if San Dimas home prices rose 11.8% in 2014, I expect the values for 2015 to probably be somewhere between 3 and 4% appreciation, which is still good. As they say, a profit is a profit. Now, on to what everybody wants to hear, the coveted REO inventory list. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to start off in alphabetical order by city. Okay? First off, Apple Valley, California. Beautiful Apple Valley. We've got a property here at 21135 Pine Ridge Avenue, Apple Valley. This is a B of A REO property, and it is currently slated for the next upcoming auction. The auction house is Genesis. If anybody has any questions, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to put you in touch with them or tell you exactly how you can go about bidding or previewing the property. This is a three bed, two bath home, 1,627 square feet, and about an acre. It was built in 1971. Great property, no HOA. Moving on, Apple Valley again. 12582 Running Deer Road. Wow, what a great property this one is. Why do I mention this? This is an investor special, ladies and gentlemen. Four bed, three bath on title. However, it is actually a five bed, three bath permitted. Over 2,500 square feet. Built in 1987 with a two car attached garage for under 190,000. You're welcome. Okay, moving on. Apple Valley again. 158. 56 Wyandotte Road, Apple Valley, California. Now, this is an interesting property because it, it offers um, what everybody wants, affordability. Why do I say that? Well, it's a very small property, three bed, two bath, about a thousand square feet, an REO currently not priced. So keep your eyes out on that one. Anybody looking for Apple Valley, that should be a very, very hot property coming up. Another B of A property, 15785 Washoan Road, also Apple Valley, California. Now this property will be listed shortly. As mentioned, it is a B of A REO property. It's three bed, two bath, built in 1980, approximately 1,482 square feet, on a lot size of about 28,200. No HOA, close to the freeway, excellent location. Anybody has any questions about that one? Of course, you can always contact me. Now. To save time, we're going to move on. Again, Apple Valley will feature our last one in Apple Valley, which is on Dakota Road, 15535 Dakota Road. Investor special, three bed, two bath, 1,284 square feet on one acre. This one was built in 1957 and will be in homesearch.com. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about some commercial listings we got. Barstow, California, moving on in alphabetical order. 1300 Mountain View Avenue, Barstow, California. What an amazing deal this property is. This property features a lot size of 74,487 square feet. What does that mean? Well, it's 1.71 acres, approximately, with a square footage of 15,785. One, one of the biggest buildings in Barstow, and if I have to say, 
Just a real great looking building, right off the freeway, excellent location, amazing potential. Tons of rooms, um, owner is willing to do TIs, owner is willing to carry with 30% down. Um, this really is an amazing property with tons of potential, ladies and gentlemen. Currently priced at $969,000. Don't delay, if I had to guess, it's probably not gonna last a whole lot longer. All right, moving on, Crestline, California, new listing. For any of you that fancy yourself, uh, nice little cabin in the woods. We have this beautiful little cabin in Crestline. The address is 21973 Mojave River Road, completely updated, beautiful home, two bed, one bath, 656 square feet, with a nice little view of the woods. Now this is a perfect home for anybody out there that's looking for something a little secluded, something fixed up, and most importantly, something beautiful and turnkey to call your own. So this is certainly affordable, right in your budget. Typically nowadays, when you see a property that's priced under $100,000, what do you usually think? Oh great, this one's gonna need a lot of work, right? Guess what? This one already has all the work, already fixed up, already done, new windows, new flooring, new appliances, uh, new doors, new wood, new veneer, new paint. Anyway, I could go on and on, but this is an excellent property and it's currently priced at $94,900. So don't wait, I'm sure this one's gonna be gone pretty soon. Moving on, Hesperia, California, 14074 Ruby Street. Uh, another B of A REO property. And this one is just a really great property. We recently had a price reduction on this one. Current list price is $216,900. And it truly is an excellent location. How do I know this? Well, I used to live about five to six steps away from this property on a road called Sapphire, right next to this one on Ruby. This property is four bed, three bath, 2,268 square feet on a lot size of 5,000. Currently priced at 269, built in 2005. Ready for it? No Melarus. Unbelievable. 99% of the homes in that area built in that year have Melarus. Just about. This one does not. So feel free to make an offer. Feel free to show it, it will not disappoint. What an amazing property. Moving on, also in Hesperia, we have 16355 Mission. That property is also a REO property. It will be featured in the next uh, auction calendar with homesearch.com. Three bed, two bath, 1,350 square feet, and a lot size of 19,000. Uh, next, Hesperia again, 11224 Hemlock Avenue. This is a B of A property and was recently priced just on the market. Real hot property, 179,900. Hesperia, California, three bed, two bath, 1,578 square feet on a lot size of just shy of a half acre. Also, no Melarus, good looking property, excellent location, right by the freeway. If I had to guess, probably not gonna last too long. Uh, listed less than three weeks ago, so hurry up on that one. Um, next, we have Hesperia. No way. Yeah. Hesperia, California. Moving on in alphabetical order. Standard sale, ladies and gentlemen. Standard sale with a recent price reduction. What a phenomenal one, this one. Uh, this one is. Three bath, two bath, 1984 square feet. 17, I'm sorry, 1984 is the year built, not the square feet. 1,700 square feet and a lot size of two and a half. Now, why is this one such a phenomenal deal? Well, because in the city of Hesperia, the zoning says you need to have one house per 1.25 acres. This home is on 2.5, which means not only will the city allow you to build an additional residence on the property, they will also allow you to subdivide and split and sell the lot. So truly tons of potential in this one for anybody interested in a place to live or an investor interested to in make a quick buck or a profit. Uh, any agents out there, please show it. I promise you will not be disappointed. Excellent location, beautiful house, tons of potential. Moving on, Lancaster, California, 2553 East Avenue J2. Now, this property is an interesting one. It is a short sale, but it is what they call a coordinated short sale. What does that mean? Well, for all intents and purposes, it means that my client is the bank and they're willing to negotiate. So, bring an offer, currently priced, at $149,900, the bank recently spent about $7,500 in new carpet, new paint, fixed it up. It's a three bed, two bath, 1,572 square feet, on a lot size of just uh, a little over 6,000. 
about 6,195 square feet to be exact. Okay, moving on to Montebello, California, 1700 West Colgrove Avenue. Now, this property is an escrow, so I won't mention too much about it. But um, in the event that anything happens to fall through, I will say it's probably the best deal in the city of Montebello. Um, this property is an, also an investor special. So what do I mean by that? Well, I mean it's priced at $309,900. So if you know anything about Montebello, I don't need to say anything else to convince you that that truly is an investor price. Two bed, one bath, 863 square feet. And of course, as always, tons of potential. Okay, moving on. Next we have Needles, California. Another beautiful commercial property. Uh, this one was actually just listed and truly is a gem. Very rare for that area. I don't know if anybody out there has ever been to Needles or has any desire to purchase commercial real estate in that area. But if you do and you've gone there, I'm sure you have a pretty good perception of the quality of the real estate, particularly commercial, in that city. Um, I mention that because if you go to 1300 Bailey, which is this particular listing, you will, you will see it is just a miles, miles ahead of all the other properties in terms of condition. Truly is an amazing property, beautiful, with a nice red tile roof uh, and tons of potential. This property is 7,695 square feet and a lot size of over an acre, 66,647 square feet to be precise. Currently priced, 840000 Now, also, owner is willing to carry, 30% down, right across the street from a hospital. So any doctors out there with an interest of possibly a satellite office, a dialysis clinic, a group home, a food bank, this one truly does have tons of potential. And guess what? The city really doesn't have a whole lot of money. Why do I mention that? Well, because it means they're willing to work with you, whatever you're willing to do, whether it's outside the box, inside the box, conforming, non-conforming, ask them. I promise you the City of Needles will bend over backwards to accommodate. They need money. They need revenue. So for anybody interested in Needles, this truly is an amazing deal. Not just because of the price, not just because of how it looks, but most importantly, as they say in real estate, it's all about the deal. And in this case, the owner is willing to deal. With 30% down, this can be yours. Don't delay, ladies and gentlemen. Call me on this one. 909-559-5275. I promise you'll be impressed. Okay, moving on. Feel in California. Now, this is interesting because it is what you call an occupied auction. I'm not going to give you the address. I used to do these and give out the address and then say something like, by the way, please don't.